When we are kids, we can't help but wonder where things come from. Like, does it rain because the sky is feeling blue? Or where does the sun rise from? And where does the moon go? Or does chocolate milk come from brown cows? Or what is really at the end of a rainbow? But when you realize that most grown-ups are made of more worry than wonder, that Mother Nature catches a cold just so cars can go, or how cows cry like any other mother when their baby's taken, or how the plastic packaging of your toy turtle eventually lines the ocean floor, or how not all kids are given much time to imagine, like others. You learn why most grown-ups don't ask as many questions, and then it makes sense how shutting your eyes and ears screaming la 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 could be an easier lifestyle to live, but a sad one too. Maybe we forgot only for a moment, that everything has a little something of where it comes from within it. Things and people, like my mother's eyes or a tapestry sewn with struggle and love and how much nicer we are to things and people when we know what they're made of. And maybe we don't always have to be afraid to know when we watch how kids can hold on to truth and hope in both hands at the same time and still keep arms wide open. Because when you see the bigger picture, it's finger pain we're missing. The value of every child living should not be measured in productivity, but in their fascination, the freedom to form a future of their own imagination, and the chance to grow up and show reality what they're truly made of.